Hey there, it's Sydney with Tastefully Frugal, and today I'm so excited to be able to share with you more about the brand new Cricut Hat Press. This little heat press makes customizing hats so easy and so much fun. You can use it on a variety of different hats and you can use a whole lot of different materials with it. So in today's video, I'll answer the questions that I know everyone has on their mind about the hat press. Uh, we'll talk about the obvious, uh, what's included in the box, when you can buy it, where you can buy it, how much it costs. We'll also go into a tutorial on how to use the hat press. We'll talk about things like um, this little pressing pillow right here, or it's a hat press. I like to call it a pressing pillow because it works very similar to pressing pillows for heat presses, but it's got some materials in here that are awesome and it makes it so that when you are pressing your hat, even if you're using infusible ink and sublimation with those high temperatures, um, it makes it so the hats um, hold their form and don't get melted. Um, so we'll go over that, we'll include what comes in the box and then any extra materials um, that you might want to have to make using the hat press a little bit easier. Honestly, it is so easy to use. There's just a few things that you might want to have on hand to make sure that you get the very best results from your hats. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's answer the question first that I'm sure is on everyone's mind. How much does it cost and when and where can I buy it? So the hat press uh, costs $149 and I'll show you in just a minute what comes in the box because you get more than just the hat press. So it costs $149 and you can buy it online directly from Cricut.com and in the online at any of your hobby retail stores on March 13th. If you want to buy it in store, you can buy it in store on May 1st. Now I have included links in the video um, to buy directly from Cricut.com. If you're watching this right now live and it's not available to purchase today, you can still click those links to get any other information on it. Also to get a notification when it does become in stock on March 13th, but I've also included a discount code that you can use that will save you 10% and get free shipping on 50 plus dollar orders. So let's go ahead and next go over everything that comes in the box when you get your Cricut hat press. Okay, let's go ahead and open up the hat press box. Once you get it open, the first thing you'll see is this envelope, and this is going to have um, information that you'll want to keep. It has your owner's manual, um, it gives you a quick start guide, as well as warranty information and a test project. So there's the manual, um, there's your warranty information, it does come with a one year warranty. And then um, at the very bottom is a HTV star that you can use on any hat um, for a test project. Then of course we have the hat press itself. Um, the hat press, uh, like all the other easy press machines, does come with the cord attached to it. The only one that doesn't have the cord attached to it is the mug press. And of course, like the other easy press machines as well, you have your base for your hat press. You can store it in this and definitely keep it in there when it's not in use. You also get a, a sample of the strong heat resistant tape. This is great to use with hats. I'll tell you more about it in just a bit. And then here on the other side of the box, you have your hat form. Now there is an allergy warning up at the very top of this. There's also an allergy warning on the side of the box. It does contain walnut shells. So if you have a nut allergy, be aware of that. So we have our Cricut hat press out of the box. Now what do we need to do to get started crafting? The first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to register your Cricut hat press. And to do this, you need to either have your iPad or your smartphone. This works on both the Apple and Android devices. And I've put a link to the brand new Cricut Heat app in the description of this video. So you'll just download the Heat app. I'm gonna show you here in just a second how easy it is um, to activate and register your machines. And the Heat app is really, really cool, especially if you're new to using HTV or infusible ink. It really takes all the guesswork out of what you need to do to make sure that your HTV or your infusible ink sticks and make sure that your projects last. So you definitely can use the Heat app and I have a video coming out in two days on how to use the Heat app and how it makes creating hats and other projects so much easier. Um, so you can use the Heat app when you are using the hat press but you don't have to. I do suggest using the heat app for the first um, one or two hat presses or bookmarking this video. I also have a blog post linked in the description of the video that has the recommended time and temperature settings. Um, one thing that's really cool about this heat press is just like the, the Cricut mug press, when you hit the go button, it has a countdown. And so it will, um, 
it'll beep and the lights will flash when the time is up. I'll show you also when we are making a hat, how that works. Um, but they do really do take out all of the guesswork uh, with the heat app and also with the Cricut hat press. Okay, let's open up the Cricut heat app. If you are signed into Design Space on your phone or tablet already, it will automatically connect your account to the Cricut Heat app. And we are going to set up our hat press. So we'll just click set up and it's uh, make sure that you have your app on. And right there, it shows us that the hat press is ready to connect. So just click connect and it will connect to the hat press and give you the hat press any updates if you need any of them. It's also going to register your hat press or your Easy Press 3 to your account. So just go ahead and select that box and click activate. And right now is when it is giving it any um, firmware updates and things like that. So this just takes a minute or two um, to do any updates. That way that you get the best heat settings. Um, and if there's any other updates for the hat press or the Easy Press 3, they get added there um, as well. Okay, so we are ready to start creating. You'll just go ahead and click done and then start new project. Select your transfer material and this will show you all, every kind of iron on that there is. You have your smart materials as well as your infusible ink. So we're using an infusible ink transfer sheet. It will ask you for the Cricut blanks if you're using a ball cap or a trucker hat. We're doing the trucker hat. So we have our uh, materials selected, our blanks selected. We'll click next. If you're not familiar with the type of material you're using, it does give a short tutorial inside the Cricut Heat app on how to use it. We don't need to watch that. We'll just click next. And this is what's great. It tells us what temperature setting we need to set the hat press too so we want to do it to high so we're just going to hit the power button three times so that the three lines um, are lit up now it will be orange until it is so this is preheating when it turns green it's ready to press um, it's ready to go so we'll want to preheat our hat for five seconds and then press for 90 seconds and it's a warm peel which means you can peel it right after you press it if we'd like you can send settings to hat press and then you'll be able to see how much longer your hat press has to heat up and it will also tell you when you start preheating it, um, how long you need to preheat it for. It shows you how to insert the uh, holder into your hat as well as to use a lint roller. So this is very, very handy if you've never used a heat press before or if you're not really familiar on how to use specific materials. This is a really great feature in the Cricut Heat app that really makes creating HTV and infusible ink projects fail proof. You'll notice this isn't the Cricut hat. This is actually a uh, sublimation hat I got off of Amazon, but it's the same style and material as the Cricut one. That's why I selected the Cricut trucker hat. So you'll put the hat form in, you'll clean it off with the lint roller, and then we're going to, going to just wait for the hat press to finish preheating. Now, because we are using infusible ink, make sure that you get a, a piece of butcher paper cut down to size, ready to go on top of your transfer sheet. I'll mention, uh, go into more detail in a minute, but with the transfer sheets, you want one sheet of butcher paper. With the pens and markers, you want three. Once your hat press is preheated, you'll just want to preheat your hat for about five seconds. And then once your hat has preheated, we will put our design on our hat. Make sure when you're working with it to have the hat standing up vertically um, and make sure you have your design on the right side. I almost put our, our um, saying on upside down. So make sure that you're just aware of that when you're putting your design on and keep your design about at least a half an inch from the bill of your hat so that the hat bill doesn't get um, melted or disformed from the hat press. And then you're going to just load your design up with heat resistant tape. You cannot add too much tape, especially with infusible ink and sublimation. You don't want your design to move at all or you'll have shadowing. So put tape on all the corners, put it on all the sides. You really cannot use enough heat resistant tape. Um, you can use too little, but you, you don't use too much. And I like this thicker tape um, because it gives you plenty of room to put it on um, the backer as well as gives it room to attach to the hat. And then we'll go ahead and we'll just put our uh, butcher paper on top. You don't need to put as much uh, 
heat resistant tape on the butcher paper because if the butcher paper moves, it doesn't matter. It won't affect the design as much as if that uh, backer moves with the infusible ink on it. So once we have our design and our butcher paper taped, we are going to stand our hat up, make sure, like I said, that you are working with it uh, completely vertical and I'll show you um, some tips when you are using the hat press. Go ahead and just hit that go button just like you do on the easy press and the mug press and then just move the uh, hat press back and forth in slow motions, kind of like the speed that you would use if you were moving your mouse. And you want to make it so that, that the C and the T come to the far edge of your design. So make sure that as you're moving it back and forth that um, the C and the T covers the design. And then you're just uh, going to do this for 90 seconds. The hat press will beep and let you know when it is done. Um, so just keep moving back, um, back and forth with light pressure. Um, you don't have to put all of your body weight into it, but do give it a little bit of pressure. And then once it is done, it is going to be a warm peel. So as soon as that uh, hat press uh, beeps, go ahead and put it back on the base and we can peel away our butcher paper as well as our uh, transfer sheet to take a look at our design. Next, let's go ahead and talk about this hat form that goes inside the hat, uh, what makes it special and how you want to use it with the hat press. Okay, so the hat form here is uh, made up of walnut shells on the inside. So like I mentioned in the unboxing part of this video, if you do have a nut allergy, that is something you want to be aware of. Um, they do have it on the sides of the box as well as when you are unwrapping the hat press. Um, but so there's walnut shells inside and then there is a firm core that surround them. And this makes it so that you have a firm pressure or um, firm point to put your hats on as well as it keeps the moisture out and keeps the heat inside your hat. So this is a really handy tool to use and you can use it on all parts of the hat. Um, so when you're putting a hat on it, you just wanna put your hat upside down and then put in there, as you can see here. Now also, you can use this if you're working on the bill of a hat. Um, so if you are wanting to put designs on the bill of your hat, you can definitely do that with HTV, but don't use infusible ink or sublimation on the bill of the hat because those high temperatures will um, disform that. But if you're doing HTV on the bill of the form, you can just um, put that right there and this will give you the firm pressing, firm pressure when you are doing um, designs on the bill of the hat. If, and I'll show you in the video that we're doing a little bit later this week when we are making this bucket hat, when you are doing the designs on the side of the bucket hat, you just have your hat or your pressing pillow inside your hat and then just press this down and you can use the um, underside of the hat form to uh, press down your designs around the side as well as the top of your hat as well. When the Cricut Mug Press came out, two of the questions I heard the most were, does Cricut have mugs that work with it? And if they do, do I have to use those mugs or can I use other mugs? So I'm sure we're gonna get the same questions, similar questions with the Cricut Hat Press. Does Cricut have hat blanks that I can buy and do I have to only use those blanks? So yes, Cricut does have hat blanks. They have two styles. They have this trucker hat style here, which you can do with HTV or infusible ink or sublimation, it works great. Um, and they also have a baseball cap style that you can use and you can buy these in single packs or um, two packs. I've linked them in the description of the video as well. Um, they will be able uh, be available to purchase when you can purchase the heat press. Um, now, can you use other hats with the heat press? Absolutely, you totally can. I have used, these are just some of the ones I've used. Um, I've put a link, several links in the description of this video for all of the hats that I've tried. And honestly, I have not had issues with any of them. This hat press really fits in almost any kind of hat. And I'll be sharing over, like I said earlier, in the next week or two, several different projects, different ways to do hats, including how to do all over designs with hats, how to do sublimation and, and infusible ink with hats, um, and then how to work with different types of HTV. Again, that is why the, heat, the Cricut Heat app is so nice because it has all of those preset settings in there. All you have to do is pick what type of hat you have. Just like the um, Easy Press Heat Settings Guide on Cricut's website, the Heat app allows you to pick if you're using a Cricut blank 
or if you're using a hat that is not Cricut, what it is mostly made up of, and then it tells you the time and temperature settings um, that you need to use for that. And you can just plug those into the heat press, or if you're using the heat, the hat press, or if you're using the heat app, um, you can send them via Bluetooth to the heat press as well. Let's talk about the materials that you can use with the Cricut Hat Press. I mentioned it earlier, but literally any type of heat material, sublimation, infusible ink, any type of HTV, you can use with the Hat Press. The time and temperature settings are going to depend, obviously, on what material you're using as well as what the hat that you're using um, is made up of. If it's a cotton poly blend, if it's a nylon blend, um, if it's 100% polyester, that's what makes the Cricut Heat app so nice because just like the Easy Press Heat Settings Guide on the Cricut website, it has all the different materials in there. It has all of the different, um, so the heat transfer materials as well as the different um, fabric blends that can be in hats. So when you put those two um, settings in it will tell you how uh, high temperature and how long you need to press it also if it needs to be a cool peel or a warm peel um, all that's in here and you can either use that heat app as a reference or you can send all the settings via bluetooth to the hat press itself now if you're using a heat press material uh, heat transfer material that is not a Cricut brand, what I suggest doing is going to the manufacturer's website or the website that you bought it from, looking at the material. So let's say you're using a Glitter HTV. Check the time and temperature settings on the manufacturer's website for Glitter HTV, and then put in um, the Glitter iron-on vinyl setting and then whatever material setting you have on your uh, heat app, and make sure the settings line up. The temperature settings with the uh, hat press while there are different ranges, the temperatures don't range from the lowest temperature to the highest temperature. It's just that the hat press will work at those settings with any material that ranges from the lowest to the highest heat setting. Next, let's talk about um, some of the extra, um, well, there's really actually only two extra supplies. No, I lied. Three extra supplies that you may need when you are making hats with the Cricut heat press. Okay. Let's talk about the three things that you'll want to have on hand when you are making hats. Number one, you want to have a lint roller. This way you can clean your hats, um, remove any dirt or microscopic fibers that could be, be here and interfere with the pressing of your hat. This is especially important when you're using infusible ink and sublimation because those can leave marks on your hat. Next, you will want this strong heat transfer tape. So you saw when we unboxed um, the heat, the hat press, I keep wanting to say heat press. It is a heat press, but it's the hat press. Um, when we unbox the hat press, you do have a roll of this that comes with the hat press and you can do quite a few hats. I'll show you in just a second how much tape I put on the hats as we're making a hat, but I was able to get six or seven um, hats done and I used a lot of tape with the roll that comes here. But you can buy um, this tape individually as well and I've linked it in the description of the video. Now what makes this tape different from the other uh, Cricut Brands heat transfer tape? Um, two things, one the color, it's purple. So if you think of the strong grip mat, um, it's purple. The strong transfer tape is purple also, but it's also quite a bit thicker than um, the, per the blue tape. So can't really tell here, but you'll be able to tell when I am putting it on the hats. You want this um, thicker tape because you are going to be moving the heat press uh, back and forth continually. And if you ever have any in issues with your sublimation or your infusible ink um, designs um, looking shadowed, it's most likely because it moved during pressing. So when you are doing any type of hat, even if it's HTV, you do want to tape your designs down quite a bit so that they don't move when um, while you are pressing it because you do press anywhere from 60 to 90 seconds. Um, and they made this tape um, stronger so it will hold up to the heat, but also it is thicker so that it can hold on um, to the design and also have room on the hat to hold on. Um, last but not least, if you are working with infusible ink or sublimation, you are going to want to have butcher paper or parchment paper. Cricut uh, launched about a month ago um, the, uh, 
packages of butcher paper that you can buy. It comes with 15 12 by 12 sheets. Um, and this comes really handy and this will last forever. Well, not literally forever, but it will last you a very long time when you're making hats because you only have to use a small piece of it. If you are doing sublimation or infusible ink transfer sheets, you only need to have one sheet down between the hat press and your design. If you're using a sublimation paper that you um, know has a little bit more blowout, there are some um, types of paper that for whatever reason have more blowout than others, you might want to have two or three sheets down. Um, so I do suggest not using a sublimation paper you haven't tried before um, on the hat press or when in doubt, just use an extra sheet of butcher paper. Um, so sublimation paper, infusible ink transfer sheets, you just need one uh, piece of butcher paper down between the design and the hat press. If you are using the infusible ink pens or markers, you want to have three sheets down. That's the same as it is with the Cricut mug press, um, but that way you don't get any of your designs that come off on to the uh, heat plate on your hat press. Let's talk about what makes the Cricut hat press different from other hat presses on the market. Um, two things come to mind um, to me that are most important. One is the size and the portability of it, and two is safety. So the Cricut hat press is, you know, it's small, it does a great job, it can pack a ton of power, but when I'm not using it, I can just put it on a shelf and, or I can put it in a drawer. It's very easy to store versus other hat presses. If you have a standalone hat press, it can be pretty bulky. Um, or if you have the attachments, you have to buy a whole heat press system, which takes up a lot of room and can be quite expensive. Um, so also talk about safety. The handle, um, you have the safety base here. I feel a whole lot more comfortable pressing hats if I know my kids are going to be wanting to help me. By the way, don't let your kids help. But if you're a parent, you know that kids like to see what you're doing and being around you. And I feel way more comfortable making hats with the Cricut hat press than I do using my hat attachment on a heat press. Um, if you don't have kid, little ones around you while you're creating, that might not be as big of a deal to you, um, but it's really important to me. Um, I also like that it does heat up and cool down much quicker than other hat presses. I'll show you in the heat app while we are, when we are making a hat, how quickly this gets to temperature. Um, in the heat app, heat app, it has a little thermometer showing you the temperature as well as a countdown showing you how quick it heats, um, gets up to temperature. I have an attachment here and I'll be doing a video um, in about two weeks showing you um, the difference between making a hat with the hat press and making a hat with an attachment to a swing away or a clamshell heat press. Um, but one thing that, I, that really came to mind, the curved surfaces are very similar from the, uh, so this isn't a standalone, but this, like I said, this goes with, uh, it's an attachment for a clamshell heat press um, or a swing away heat press, sorry. So the um, curved surfaces are similar, but then when you have your form that you put your hat on, it's definitely not as sturdy as the hat form that comes with the, kit, the Cricut heat press. So stay tuned. If you're watching this video after the launch, um, check the description of the video as soon as this video goes live comparing the hat press to the attachment with a, or a swing away heat press. I will include that link in the description of the video as well as all the other tutorials that will be coming out including how to make sublimation hats with the hat press, um, how to do all over designs with the hat press, and any other projects that come up I'll be sure to link in this video. One more project to show you. This one will be an HTV project. Make sure you have your hat press on. We are going to select our transfer material and this time I'm using a holographic iron-on. Now because I'm using iron-on, it gives me more blank options, more materials. The hat I'm using is a cotton poly blend. And then we'll uh, go ahead and select next. Here it will tell you how, the temperature you need, how long you need to preheat, how long you press, and if it's a cool or warm peel. And you can send settings to your heat press. Now, because I was using this already for infusible ink, it's showing that it's cooling down here instead of heating up. So that's why that's a bit different. But go ahead and put your hat form in your hat. Make sure that, that the strap that says Cricut is on the bottom and just move your, your hat around the hat form so that it fits in there um, firmly and that you have that firm um, base on the hat. And we can go ahead and uh, preheat our hat now. 
once uh, I preheat it, then I will do the lint roller to clean it of any, um, like I said, fibers or anything like that. And then we'll go ahead and put our design on our hat. Let's get our design ready. I'm gonna do it on the side of the hat this time. You can do designs on the front of the hat or the side of the hat with uh, iron on, like I said, even if you wanted to do it on the bill, you could. And then we are just going to load this hat up like I did with the infusible ink one with that heat resistant tape. Make sure that your design is on there. And then also if your design, um, if the backer starts to like press away from the hat, you'll see here that I just pull it on the corner there on the right side to make sure that there isn't any bubbles and that that uh, heat resistant tape keeps that uh, iron on on the hat snugly. Now our uh, heat press is, uh, or our hat press is fully heated. And I'll show you better here that you can see what I mean when it says to have the C come to the full design. You're gonna just press it back and forth. This time we're only doing it for 60 seconds, but I will share a tip for you once, uh, if you're using a material that's a cool peel, once it's done, how to cool it down quicker. So just move it back and forth and this is sped up so that's why it looks like it's going quick but i promise i'm doing it in slower motions um, but once it is completely heated go ahead and take the hat form out of your hat and then flip your hat upside down and rub it against the table um, this will have uh, help it to cool down quicker and then once your design is completely cool to the touch you can peel away um, the, that heat resistant tape and the backer to reveal your hat. And I love holographic HTV. I think it gives, uh, there's just so many different colors and dimensions to it, especially for a fun design like this uh, flower and butterfly, uh, really gives it a cool feel. And I think it matches the blue hat pretty well too. I hope that this video gets you just as excited as I am about the brand new Cricut hat press. I mentioned earlier everything that we use the different hats um, the Cricut hat press itself um, all the extras I have links to in the description of this video um, to recap you can buy the hat press online um, at Cricut.com and online at your favorite hobby stores on March 13th and it's available to buy in stores on May 1st um, be sure to subscribe to Tastefully Frugal for more hat press tutorials more Cricut and sublimation tutorials and if you'd like to craft with me live, I'm live over on my Facebook page every Friday night at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. I'd love to have you join me there. I hope you have a great day. And if you have any questions that I didn't answer for you, go ahead and leave them in the comments and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. See you next time.